In this video, we will show you how to make a compound by doing an experiment with two different elements, iron and sulfur. Before we start the experiment, we should do our risk assessment by looking at the hazard cards of these two elements. Once the risk assessment is done, we have realized a gas called sulfur dioxide will be released in this experiment. So we prepare our equipments according to that and make sure all windows in the lab are open. We have divided this experiment into four parts. Let's start the experiment. Part one. Let's check the appearance of the elements. Iron filings are dark gray crystals where sulfur is a bright yellow powder. Part two. We will observe the action of a magnet. If the iron is sprinkled on a watch glass and magnet is moved underneath the watch glass, you will see the iron filings follow the magnet as they are attracted to it. If you repeat this with the other element sulfur, you will see sulfur is not attracted to a magnet. We can now see iron and sulfur are two completely different elements and behave differently in this test. Iron is a metal and sulfur is a non-metal. Part three, making a mixture of iron and sulfur and try to separate them. Some iron filings and sulfur powder is mixed together in a watch glass. Now we have a mixture of iron and sulfur. Let's see their appearance. We can see in this mixture that dark gray crystals are iron filings and blue and bright yellow powder is sulfur. Now we use a magnet and try to separate the iron from this iron sulfur mixture. As the magnet is moved underneath the watch glass, you will see iron is attracted and sulfur isn't. So iron and sulfur can be separated which means the components of a mixture can easily be separated by physical means. Part 4 Heating We will now heat the mixture of iron and sulfur and see what happens. Place the mixture of iron and sulfur in a test tube and cover the open end of the test tube with some mineral wool. This will stop the escape of the gas which will be made when we heat this mixture. The name of the gas is sulfur dioxide which is toxic. So let's see how we are going to make a compound. We are going to heat this mixture very strongly so that we can start a chemical reaction happening. If you see very carefully, you can see something is happening inside the test tube. This is a chemical reaction which we have started using the heat from the Bunsen burner. Once heated, we will perform, we will see the appearance of this mixture. And we will perform the same test using a magnet as we did earlier. As we can see the appearance of this compound now, which we made through a mixture of iron and sulfur. We will use a magnet as we did earlier underneath the wash glass to see can we separate the iron from the sulfur. As we can see, we cannot. By heating the mixture of iron and sulfur causes the elements to bond chemically to form a compound called iron 2 sulfide. Thank you for watching this video.